जय हिंद टू ऑल माई नेम इज दिव्या शर्मा टूडे आई विल कवर दिस टॉपिक कर्ल लाप्लेशन ऑफ अ स्केलर सो फर्स्ट वी विल स्टार्ट विद दिस कर्ल ऑफ अ वैक्टर द कर्ल ऑफ अ वैक्टर इज अ रोटेशनल वैक्टर हुज मैग्निट्यूड इज द मैक्सिम सर्कुलेशन मीन्स क्लोज लाइन इंटीग्रल ऑफ अ वैक्टर ए पर यूनिट एरिया एज द एरिया टेंस टू जीरो and whose direction is the normal direction of the area when the area is oriented so as to make the circulation maximum this is the formula where curl a is equal to this is the representation of curl a limits delta s tends to 0 this is closed integral line integral a dot ds a dot dl upon delta s this is maximum and this is the unit vector this is the circulation of a vector field a around a closed path l is the line this is the line integral so this is the formula of curl a in form of line integral upon delta s here this is the surface uh, in yz plane here this is the line integral closed line integral a to b then b to c then c to d then d to a and here is p is a point representing in this closed line integral so here how we can find out a dot dl a dot dl we can find out first we have to find out closed line integral of ab then bc then cd then da then addition of all these four is calculated for adl now curl of a vector when curl at p points out this is the representation now curl at p at p is zero here you can see this is the field and p is the point here curl of p is zero now curl of a vector in cartesian coordinate cylindrical coordinate spherical coordinate as you all know already we have discussed that cartesian coordinates are in form of x y z and cylindrical coordinates rho phi z and in spherical coordinates it is in form of r theta phi now first we have to calculate curl in cartesian coordinate that is equal to curl of a is equal to this is matrix this is unit vector of x then y then z then del upon del upon Uh, del x, this one. Del upon del y, del upon z, del z. This is a x, a y, a z. So this is the matrix of curl in Cartesian coordinate. Now curl, if we have we have to find out curl in co uh, cylindrical coordinate, then we can find out by using this matrix one upon rho in matrix. Here this is the unit vector of rho phi z. Here this is the this is rho. so multiply in this uh, unit vector of phi del upon del rho del uh, rho del upon del phi del upon del z then a rho a phi a z here we have to multiply rho now matrix for spherical coordinate means curl if you want to find out curl in spherical coordinate so how we can find out 1 upon r square sin theta in matrix this is unit vector of r theta phi and here we have to multiply r here we have to multiply r sin theta in unit vector of phi here del upon del r del upon del theta del upon del phi here this is a r r a theta r sin a phi so these are the curl of a vector in cartesian cylindrical and spherical coordinate now physical significance of curl curl is calculated at a point and curl represents circulation capability of a vector field lines around around the given point now let us consider this is a field you can see here all lines are in upward direction this is a point p or you can consider this is a ball now if you here you can see this these lines are have strength is more as compared to these three lines so it will rotate in anti clockwise direction and your direction is in outward so outward is represented as this one 
and if you want to find out curl at point P that is this is your magnitude and this is your direction. It is does not equal to 0 means you have to find out curl here, but if you want to find out the direction it is in anti-clockwise direction. Now, here you can see these are your vertical lines here strength is more as compared to these three lines these this vector field. Now, here this is a point P in between these lines. Now, if for we are applying force. So, we have to apply from this direction to this direction means in clockwise direction. So, your direction is in inward and you have to find out curl for this means you have to find out magnitude and direction is in inward. Now, third case let us consider your field is in this direction and you have a point P or you can consider a ball it will rotate in the vector field direction. So, that is in clockwise direction and your direction is inward ok and you have to find out magnitude that is does not equal to 0 you have to find out. Now, here your field is anti clockwise direction and your ball is at this point that is represented as P. So, force is in anti clockwise direction and its direction is in is outward. So, this is the way how we can find out direction of a curl. Now, in this field you can see your uh, field is in this direction and your ball is here at this point. So, no force is here means no force can apply in this direction or this direction. So, ball is at this point P. So, here your, your uh, curl is so, your, you have do not have any direction you have and your curl is equal to 0. Here is also you have a field in this direction and this is a point here that is represented as P and here is also no direction and you have your curl is equal to 0. Now, let us consider a question that is A vector is equal to x unit vector of x, y unit vector of y and z unit vector of z. Now, how we can find out curl and its direction? Now, here curl means curl of A is represented as delta cross A and this is your matrix in Cartesian coordinate as you can check your coordinates are in form of x, y, z. Here this is unit vector of x, this is unit vector of z, y, then z, then delta del upon del x, del upon del y, del upon del z. Now, here you have to write down this is x, here unit vector of y, this is y, this is z. So, you can have to find out matrix. Now, can you find out matrix for unit vector a x? You can find out it like this. Now, cross multiply here and here. So, we have we can find out it like this del upon del y means differentiation of z minus differentiation of y with respect to z here with respect to y. So, it is equal to 0. So, your curl is equal to 0. You can find out it like this for a y a z, but here this is in form of positive. Now, if you want to find out for a y, so minus a y unit vector. Now, you can make a matrix like this and after that plus a z. Now, again you can apply matrix like this and you can find out it is curl. Now, here direction if you want to find out direction. So, here you have x y z axis and your field is in this direction, this direction, this direction, this means and your point is here that is represented as P. So, you cannot rotate it in clockwise or anti clockwise. So, your direction is here. So, here, here no direction. Now, let us consider this is another question a vector is equal to minus y unit vector of x, x unit vector of y. Now, here find out curl of a that is equal to matrix unit vector of x y z del upon del x del upon del y del upon del z 
minus y x and 0. Here you can write down unit vector of x, here its uh, value is minus y, here x and here unit vector of z is absent here. So, write down here 0. So, you can find out it like this. So, this is the way how you can find out, how you can solve matrix A unit vector of x del, here you can leave these values and these values, write down this matrix del upon del y x del upon del z 0 minus A y unit vector. Now, leave these values and these values and write down del upon del x minus y del upon del z 0 plus now unit vector of z for this, you can leave this row you can leave this column and write down del upon del x here del upon del x minus y del upon del y x. So, you can find you can solve this matrix and you will get this value. So, this is the way how you can find out curl of A. Now, these are also questions based on curl. So, find out curl of this vector, this vector and this vector. This is in Cartesian coordinate this was this was uh, this is in cylindrical coordinate this one is in uh, spherical coordinate so first we will take this first part and find out curl of this now curl of this this is your point p is equal to x square y z unit vector of x plus x z unit vector of z now use curl for cartesian coordinate this is the formula already we have discussed earlier now curl of a unit vector of x, y, z, del upon del x, del upon del y, del upon del z, a x, x, a y, a z. Now, a x is what? a x is x square y z. Now, a y is 0 here because unit vector of a y is absent here and a z is equal to x z. So, now after that you can solve the matrix and you will get this result. So, this is the way how you can find out curl for Cartesian coordinate. Now, the second one is you have to find out curl for cylindrical coordinate. Now, this is your question q is equal to rho sin phi unit vector of phi plus sorry this is uh, rho rho square z unit vector of phi plus z cos phi unit vector of z. Now, this is the formula how you can find out curl of vector a or vector q in form of in cylindrical coordinate. 1 upon rho, unit vector of rho, unit vector of phi, unit vector of z, here you have to multiply by rho, del upon del rho, del upon del phi, del upon del z, here write down a rho, a phi, a z, multiply this a phi by rho. Now, here a phi, first a rho, a rho is equal to rho sin phi. Now, here a phi, that is equal to rho square z and a z is equal to z cos phi. So, put all these values and find out the matrix and you will get this result. Now, the third part, this is in spherical coordinate. Now, W is equal to 1 upon R square cos theta unit vector of R plus R sin theta cos phi unit vector of theta plus cos theta unit vector of phi. And this is the formula for curl in spherical coordinate. That is equal to 1 upon r square sin theta unit vector of r theta phi del upon del r del upon del theta del upon del phi a r r a theta r sin theta a phi and here also you have to multiply r in unit vector of theta and r sin theta in unit vector of phi. So, here put all these values a r is equal to what? a r is equal to this one. Now, here a theta a theta is equal to this one and r sin theta 
it is given now a phi you have to write down a phi from this question that is equal to cos theta. So, put all these values here and find out the matrix as we have already discussed in the previous slide. So, you will get the result this one is the result for this question. Now, curl of a vector. Now, these are some properties. Curl of a vector field is another vector field and curl of a scalar field does not exist. Now, here curl of A plus B is equal to curl of A plus curl of B. Now, the next property is curl of here you have to multiply take A cross B and curl of A cross B that is equal to A in bracket divergence of B minus B here in bracket divergence of A is del dot A. Now, the next property is here V A you have to find out curl of V A that is equal to V delta cross A plus delta V cross A. So, this is also, also the property of a vector. Now, divergence of the curl of a vector field vanishes delta dot delta cross A is equal to 0 and curl of a gradient of a scalar field vanishes delta cross delta V is equal to 0. So, these are the properties of a curl of a vector. Now, solenoidal, uh, solenoidal vector field. Now, here for this del dot A is equal to 0 at all points in a space. If you have a space and all points you have to find out divergence of all points that is equal to 0 and A vector is solenoidal vector field. Now, physical significance vector field of A will not have the source or sink points means in this field you do not have any source or sink points. Now, a vector field A is said to be solenoidal or divergence less if delta dot A is equal to 0 means divergence of A is equal to 0. Now, let us case let us take a case first in here you can see these are two points. Now, here in this field no source is there. So, your divergence is equal to 0. No source or sink is there. So, di your divergence is equal to 0. In case second also you have these lines in this direction. Now, here no source is there, no sink is there. So, divergence is equal to 0. Now, the case third here magnetic field line is there. Now, your start point is from here and again end point. So, source is and uh, source and sink is not there. So, your divergence is equal to 0 or you can consider a magnetic field where you, you have a north pole, you have a south pole and you have a magnetic field in this direction. So, in this direction and south to north. So, here no source or sink is there. So, here you can say divergence is equal to 0. Now, second is irrotational vector field. Irrotational vector field means your curl is equal to 0 at all points in space and your vector field A is irrotational vector field. Means, you can say if your curl is equal to 0 at all points in space, your field is irrotational. Now, physical significance of this A vector does not have rotational capability. Now, you can see this is your point and you have field in this direction. Now, field the in this direction, in this direction. So, you can say curl of E is equal to 0 means electrostatic field are irrotational. So, you can say a field is said to be irrotational if your curl is equal to 0. Now, these are your null identities. Now, curl of A, if you have a curl of A and you are taking divergence of curl of A that is equal that is represented as delta dot delta cross A means curl is represented as in this form cross and here divergence is represented as dot. So, that is equal to 0. Now, gradient of V and you have to take curl of gradient of V that is represented as delta cross del V that is equal to 0. See, so these are null identities. Now, Next topic is Laplacian of a scalar. Now, 
Laplacian of a scalar field V written as del square V is the divergence of gradient of V. It is also it is another scalar field and in Cartesian coordinates Laplacian it is represented as delta dot delta dot V is equal to delta square V or we can say delta square V. Now, this is your delta and this is delta V means delta dot delta V. This is in form of Cartesian coordinate or you can say del square V is equal to del square V upon del x square plus del square V upon del y square plus del square V upon del z square. So, a scalar field is said to be harmonic in a given region if its Laplacian vanishes in that region means del square V is equal to 0 this is the Laplacian equation. Now, if you want to find out uh, this Laplacian in Cartesian coordinate that is represented as del square V is equal to del square V upon del x square plus del V del square V upon del y square plus del square V upon del z square. Now, in cylindrical coordinates it is represented as del square V in form of you have to write down in cylindrical coordinates. Now, 1 upon rho del upon del rho in bracket rho del V upon del rho plus 1 upon del square 1 upon rho square del square v upon del phi square plus del square v upon del z square means this is your first coordinate of cylindrical in form of rho this one in form of phi and this one in form of z. Now, in spherical coordinate how we can find out Laplacian del square v is equal to 1 upon r square del upon del r in bracket r square del v upon del r plus 1 upon r square sin theta del upon del theta sin theta in bracket sorry in bracket sin theta del v upon del theta plus 1 upon r square sin square theta del square v upon del phi square means this is in form of r coordinate this is in form of theta and this one in form of phi. So, these are the coordinates these are the uh, Laplacian form in in form of Cartesian cylindrical and spherical coordinates. Now, Laplacian of a vector, Laplacian of a vector is represented as del square a vector is defined as del square a vector is equal to del in bracket del dot a minus in bracket del cross del cross del cro del cross del cross a. So, this is the uh, for this is the representation of Laplacian of a vector. Now, let us take an example find out Laplacian of a scalar field. First is V is equal to e ki power minus z sin 2 x cos hyperbolic y u is equal to rho square z cos 2 phi third one c is equal to c w is equal to 10 r sin square theta cos phi. These are three parts you have to find out Laplacian of these scalar fields. So, first you should know the formula for Cartesian. Now, here del square v in form of Cartesian you have to write down del square v upon del x square del square v upon del y square del square v upon del z square. So, put the value of v from this question you all know e ki power minus z sin 2 x cos hyperbolic y. So, put this value here and dif differentiate it with respect to x. Now, again put the value of v and differentiate it with respect to y. Here put the value of v and differentiate it with respect to z and you will get the final result that is equal to minus 2 e ki power minus z sin 2 x cos hyperbolic y. So, this is the Laplacian of this vector v. Now, this is in form of cylindrical. So, del square u is equal to 1 upon rho del upon del rho rho del u upon del rho plus 1 upon rho square del 2 u upon del phi square plus del 2 square u upon del z square. So, put the value of here u u u in form of rho here uh, put the value uh, here this is these are the coordinates in form of cylindrical rho phi z and you have to put here value u from the given vector from the given quotient. Now, find out this and you will get the result that is equal to 
zero. You have to differentiate u with respect to rho here. You have to differentiate u with respect to phi here. Here you have to differentiate it with respect to z. Now you will get the result. Now here you have to find out Laplacian in spherical coordinate. You should know this formula first. Okay, that is one upon r square del upon del r r square del. This is your given uh, scalar field w upon del r plus one upon r square sine theta del upon del theta sine theta del w. This is your scalar field given scalar field that is you have to differentiate with respect to theta. Plus one upon r square sine square theta del square upon del phi square, and this is your scalar field. So here your scalar field is differentiated with respect to r, here theta, here phi, and again you have to multiply it by with respect to r. You have to multiply this uh, with r square, and again you have to differentiate with respect to r. Here you have to multiply this uh, with sine theta, and again you have to differentiate it. And then after that, you have to multiply one upon r square sine theta. Here you have to differentiate your scalar field with respect to phi two times. You have to differentiate, and after that, you have to multiply one upon r square sine square theta, and you will get the result. That is equal to ten cos phi upon r in bracket one plus two cos two theta. So this is the way how you can find out Laplacian in Cartesian coordinates, cylindrical coordinate, and Spherical coordinate. Thank you.